How's it going, Internet? I stand out in my backyard. Oh, that was weird. My backyard. My backyard. Um, <laughs> looking at, um, basically, I was looking up to see if the grapes were growing and how big they were. I have wine grapes growing in my backyard, which is pretty sweet, but um, it's pretty cloudy here in Boise, Idaho. Or this is actually Cuna, which is uh, about, the main city is about 10 miles outside of Boise, Idaho. But, um, I had a question. Um, this is going out to anybody that could be... Sorry, I got some dust on my camera. Let me get it off. All right. Um, anybody that could be Rastafarian. Um, I've read a little bit about the Rastafarians, and <clears throat> so far, what I've seen, I like. Um, there's been certain things like the whole you know, black pride versus just respecting people irrespectively of their, um, their race. I happen to be half black, half Spanish from Spain, Spanish. Um, and I understand that, that Rastafarians don't say like, we're the only chosen people, we're the only, we're the best, or we're the only ones that are good, or, you know, white people are the devil, like Muslims try to say. Um, but there is a lot of, like, pride, which I don't like. Um, I think to come to Christ, you should be humble. So I was, but other than that, like, the, the respect of life, because I used to be a Buddhist. I used to be a very devout um, Buddhist. I used to, um, you know, I still have my, um, my mala beads if I walk inside here. I still have my mala beads um, sitting on my wall just as a reminder of like you know my past and stuff and uh, but I for sure always wear my cross around my neck and um, it's kind of interesting to me that um, that they respect and I like it that they respect um, life um, all types of life all things were God's creation, and so they respect that life. Um, but my question, I guess, is what is, like, like the LDS people, they tell you, because I, I, I study a lot of religions, but um, I'm all for getting information from individuals and from, you know, the black and white text of what they believe, things that are canonized. As far as I know, the Rastafarians follow the um, the King James version of the Bible, but um, is there um, anything like this? You know, we do this, we do that. We don't do this. I know you guys don't drink alcohol. I know you get or you try to abstain from alcohol. If somebody is, you know, you see somebody at a a club drinking alcohol, you don't sit there and you know bad talk them or whatever. But it's not something that's sought after, I guess. Um, even though it's taught in the Bible. I'm not sure what you guys' view about that wine being in the Bible and drinking it is. Um, obviously, you guys understand that Moses had cannabis. Um, he was told to bring cannabis with him in large amounts. Um, and the oils, and um, it doesn't ever say to, to smoke marijuana or to um, to take in cannabis, but it definitely says to like have it or to use it. Um, and in the Old and the New Testament, I mean, Revelations, the last book of Revelations, I mean, how could you, there's no other plant on the planet that can produce uh, 12 manners of fruit. Um, but I've always been, been confused about that because of, um, like it talks about 12 pillars in heaven, uh, supporting the heaven, and uh, those 12 pillars are obviously the 12 apostles, um, not the 12 manners of um, fruit that are produced from the cannabis plant. So I was kind of wanting some information more about you guys' religion.